My name is Jonathan Augustine, and I'm a missionary, been a missionary to Central and Eastern Europe since 1991. God doesn't call us to frustrate us. He knows what we need when He calls us, and He can equip us to do whatever we need to do to meet the call. As I was in Bulgaria, I served there for 11 years, and I served for most of that that time, at least the first year, without knowing the language, without speaking the language. I served through an interpreter. But I was traveling with the overseer of Bulgaria to a conference in Germany, and just the two of us were in the car. At this moment, I realized how much I desperately needed the Bulgarian language. I'd never been able to go down in the altars and personally pray with people, talk to them about their needs. I'd never been able to preach in the language because I jumped into ministry the moment that I hit the ground. So traveling together, it became very silent in that car, and I recognized that need. We traveled the second day. We traveled three days to Germany because of the war in, at that time, Yugoslavia. On the second day, we were traveling through Austria. And as we traveled together, there was a moment like I'll, that I'll never forget. A moment in which God simply came down and visited us in that car. I can't really explain it except that I sense God's presence and I begin to pray and to worship God in the same moment. The overseer who was traveling with me, without a word spoken between us, began to worship. The spirit is the same. We're children of the same Father. We were worshiping together in the Holy Spirit. I recognized at that moment God had removed the language barrier between us. I said something then at that moment looking up towards heaven, God, if you can do this in a car, I believe you can do it in my mind. And I asked God to open my mind to the Bulgarian language. Just give me enough, Lord, that I can speak with people without interpretation. Just give me enough, Lord, that I can preach without being interpreted. Lord, just give me enough that I can go into the altar and pray with people that I'm pastoring. We arrived in Germany and the overseer was sharing with a group of Bulgarian students. And as he shared, there was no one tra translating for me, but as he shared, the anointing of the Holy Spirit came upon him. And I knew that God was speaking through him. I didn't want to interrupt. I said, Lord, would you just show me what you're, what you're saying right now? Would you just reveal to me what you are speaking through him? I prayed that. And then God reminded me what I had prayed in the car on the way there. I opened my eyes and as I focused on him and what he was saying, suddenly, without having a, an understanding in my mind, I knew what God was speaking through him. And the more I focused on that and the more excited I got about that, the more I understood. And in one moment, I found myself blurting out, yes, and Paul says in 1 Corinthians, and then I stopped because everyone was looking at me in shock. And I realized I had just understood and responded in the Bulgarian language. The overseer looked at me and he first realized what had happened and said, No, don't stop. Speak, speak, speak in Jesus' name. I began to slowly pick up speaking and I just continued to speak in Bulgarian. Everyone was rejoicing in that moment, knowing that a miracle had happened. In a moment, God had given me the Bulgarian language. That evening, we called my interpreter. She would not believe that it was me until I reached Bulgarian soil because she knew I didn't know Bulgarian. Just a few months later, I translated for that overseer in the Council of 18. God knows what we need when he calls us and he is able to equip us for the work.